When it comes to upgrade your current model 3. Point something to the most recent version model 4.0, you have to keep in mind some basic things. For example, is your current model team also supported in model 4.0? And if you are using currently some additional plugins, are those also available for model 4.0? In this brief video, I will upgrade my current model 3.11 to the most recent version to date, which is 4.0. And I do that step by step to show actually how easy it is and also to carry out some plugin search and also team update. So let's begin. You can do those steps in any order. Obviously, you have to download Moodle files, you have to upload those files to your server, you have to search plugins, teams, and also upload those. I'm currently at Moodle.org website, and what I'm searching from here is obviously downloads. And from here, I can also find latest release, and then I can most obviously download Moodle 4.0, which is currently most up to date when I'm doing this video and I'm simply downloading it as a zip file. It takes some time and I have carried out this beforehand. If I take a look to my computer, I have it here, Moodle latest 4.0 something and the next step will be to extract those files to your computer so that you can upload those to your server. In this video I will show you quite manual upgrade process. Of course there are some more convenient ways to do that but I'm using FTP software to upload those files and then I initiate uh, the upgrade. Before I do that I need to check or double check what is my current Moodle team. For example, is it supported in Moodle 4.0 as well? And of course, what additional plugins I want to download and are those also available for 4.0? If I open up my Moodle site, which is currently in 3.11, and uh, it has uh, some team applied, yes, and uh, also if I click on some course, I can see that I'm using currently some custom layout for my courses. To be able to ensure that if those are also available for 4.0, I need to log in to my Moodle site. I will do that. I log in and then I go to site administration. From here, for example, I can check what is my current team, appearance, team selector. And this team I'm using right now is called class. It's a free one. Let's first check if this is available also for Moodle 4.0. Once again, I'm going to Moodle site, Moodle.org, and if I go to downloads, and then if I select now Moodle plugins or teams directly, I can check if uh, my class, if I search it from here, search class team, if this is available for 4.0. As you can see, currently it is, I will download this as well, clicking download button. I have done this as well, and my team is currently in zipped form as well. In addition to team, I also want to check if I'm using additional plugins. If I go to site administration again, and if I select plugins, and click plugins overview, I have additional plugins in here. Yes, if I click on that, I can see that currently I'm using two different course formats in addition. Actually, what is usually activated in my Moodle 3.11 is tiles format, as shown previously. But uh, my main question is, do I have currently this available as well, this tiles format? So if I go to plugins directory, plugins, and I can search, for example, course format. Also, I can click on more, Moodle version, any or 4.0, and let's do a search. 
Actually, I can see that uh, this tiles format is available, but as I'm recording this video, this version is in beta format. Right now, I will not download it, but instead I can check if something else similar, or maybe something I like, is also available. Of course, I can always start with default content or default plugins that are available in Moodle. So maybe it's too early to bother. But of course, if I want to keep my site running, I need to ensure that my courses still look good and uh, they can easily be learned, studied. The next step will be to put your site into maintenance mode. I do that from site administration again. If I go to server and select maintenance mode, then I can easily click on enable. And of course, I can write some note. Currently it is in Estonian, but you can also do that in different languages. I ensure that um, if somebody is visiting this site, will get notified that uh, currently this model site is updated. I save changes. If I now log out from my model, log out, then I can see that uh, my site is currently undergoing a maintenance. Now I'm safe to upload new model files and also carry out an upgrade. I'm ready to upload my new files, Moodle 4.0 and also plugins, teams and carry out or initiate my upgrade. Let's do that. Let's go back to my files. So if I go to Moodle download, I do have my team class and Moodle latest. I also have some additional plugin which I might test for fresh new course layout. Let's talk about that later. And I go to now Moodle install and in here I do have extracted versions of those zip files. So I have my Moodle latest 4.0, yes. If I double click I can see my Moodle and I will rename this, for example Moodle 4.0 and now it's time to go to your website through FTP. So let's do that. I'm using WinSCP to access my Moodle server and from here, I can see that I do have eLearn, which is my current Moodle installation. And to this HD Talks, I will upload my new Moodle files. So for that, I ensure that uh, this folder name, which I upload, includes Moodle folder structure, subfolder structure. And I will just upload and be patient because it might take some time to upload those files. There are many small files and that is one of the reasons why it might take some time. Once you have uploaded those files, you have it in here. So model 4.0. And now you have to select your current model and just rename it because you don't want to mess it up with a fresh new one. But just in case you want to keep this if something goes wrong. Obviously, before you start any upgrade, it's good to pack up. So you have to pack up your databases, also your folder structure, like you see it from my computer screen. And I will now rename this folder, just like maybe 3.11. And then I will take this model 4.0 and I rename this as eLearn, which is my current key folder for my model installation. Now, before I carry out an upgrade, I will also copy over my current team. If I go to eLearn and scroll down, I can see team and I can see that uh, by default, I do have two teams available. But in addition, in my previous version, if I go to that one now and select also team, I can see that I do have a class. I can't just copy this over because this is older version. What I'm doing instead is that I'm taking this downloaded file and I will use that one instead. So if I go to team again and if I open up my file folder structure and I have here team class. 
So class is here and I will drag this over. This should be quite a quick process because files are small, which are added at the moment. Okay, this step is done. And as I mentioned before, I do use also additional course structures or course formats. And currently, if I check what formats are available, I can see those in here. There are some new ones which are made for Moodle 4.0. So maybe I will change to those, but maybe I will find some additional plugin which I would like to test or use instead. For example, if I select plugins again and maybe course format and then more and Moodle version 4.0. And if I scroll down and for example, if I maybe select Advisor and scroll down, I can see that it does have also similar layout like um, Creed or my current one. Maybe I will test this as well, but I can do that later. Let's first ensure that uh, I can successfully upgrade my Moodle to 4.0. And before I can initiate the upgrade, I have to ensure one more important step. And this is obviously my configuration file that I'm using and that is telling to my Moodle which databases should it use and also to where user files are saved. So I can find this from my previous installation and it is called config.php. Now this file should be included into my new model eLearn folder before I can start the upgrade. So what I can do is I download this file. Okay, I have it here. Please do ensure that uh, you're not sharing this file with anybody who shouldn't access your Moodle site. And then I just copied over to my new Moodle folder. So eLearn, currently you can see that it doesn't have config file. Yes, there is some template, but I will copy this file to my new Moodle 4.0. Okay, now key steps are done at my server side. I should be able to initiate the upgrade. If all is good, the upgrade shouldn't be a problem. And of course, we have to ensure that uh, our server supports the most recent version of Moodle because there are also some additions that should be supported by the server. But those things are visible also while you start the upgrade. So obviously you won't carry out this upgrade process if you are unsure because you probably mess up the process in general and maybe you have to set up your Moodle site um, once again. So currently I'm ready to upgrade my Moodle site and for that I simply go to my Moodle site, add admin, and then I ensure the upgrade. I go to my Moodle site, I include eLearn admin, and I should see a notification that do I want to upgrade my current Moodle 3.11 to 4.0.1. Yes, I want to do that. I will click on continue. The next step will be server checks. And you have to ensure that everything looks green before you start the upgrade. At the moment, I can see that all is good. I have some minor thing to check afterwards, but I will continue at the moment. Continue. Now, in addition, I get plugins check screen, but as I showed you, I don't use many additional plugins in addition. So only some course formats and then also a team, a separate team, yes. It should be okay in here as well. So if I scroll down, I can see that all those are default plugins. And of course, Moodle 4.0 may introduce some additional plugins as well. So if I scroll down, I can see that uh, all is good. Some old ones will be deleted. I can double check if this is good for me. 
because uh, I should also be aware what plugins I'm using currently in my current model courses. So this should be also discussed. If you are not um, a teacher by yourself and uh, this upgrade will be carried out by IT manager, then probably you have to discuss if those are needed or if this is a problem if you start the upgrade. So I scroll down once again and if I want to, for example, or if there are those plugins available also for Moodle 4.0, I can copy those over similarly as I did with Team and uh, I simply then reload. So I don't have to close this page, but I just do those additional steps. If I see some important error message, I just uh, upload those problematic or additional files to appropriate folder and then I can reload again. Upgrade Moodle database now. Let's move forward. Something is happening. I can see that uh, all is green. Good. And uh, I just continue. Now, of course, um, I have to log in to my Moodle site. At least the back end or my login screen looks promising. I hope that uh, the upgrade was simple as that. Of course, I need to fine tune and find appropriate course formats, which I want to use uh, now in new model, because some older ones may not be supported. But this is something that I can test afterwards. Yes. So let's log in and let's see if my model site can be used again by any user. So I will log in and then I might have some new features that are coming with Moodle 4.0. So can be tuned up also later on through your site administration. But this page just tries to visualize what are those new features. And uh, you can learn also which, which are coming available now with Moodle 4.0. So it's good to scroll those over and see if something new that may interest you. And later on, of course, you can do changes if you want to. I have it uh, by default it in Estonian language, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, there are also in English version what new features you have. If I scroll down, I just uh, quickly check it over. For example, Peak Blue Button Server is available more conveniently in, in this new Moodle version. If I scroll down, I can see again that uh, some fresh new features are connected directly with Peak Blue Button. So I will miss that because currently I'm not using in my courses this, but you might be interested to double check what are those additional settings? So I scroll and scroll and should be in the end quite soon. I can see that uh, in terms of my current team, there is some additional setting. This is probably important to note, which I can do later as well. And I will save my changes. Actually, I haven't made any change. So those default settings will be used. I have to include a support email address, which is new setting in this model 4.0. Let's include it and save again. All right. If I change my view to English, I can see some general notifications. Yes. And I will check that afterwards. Do I need to change something in here as well? And it seems that um, my model is now model 4.0. So my main question is, if I now log out for a moment, what will be the view to normal user? But before I can do that, I need to go to maintenance mode again. I have a quick link in here, disable maintenance mode. So maintenance mode, I will disable and save changes. Now, if I go to home tab, I can see that uh, in general, my Moodle site looks okay. And um, if I log out, log out, then also for normal user, it looks all right. So in general, my Moodle upgrade was at least to this step successful. I need to do some fine 
tunings. For example, to include some additional plugins which are made for 4.0, or maybe I have to switch some plugins, especially course formats, to some new fresh ones. For example, if I go to my course and select some course from the list, I probably might see that uh, my current layout is a bit strange because um, this plugin is simply not installed at the moment. But I can change that. Um, I can check if there are some course formats available, some new formats available for 4.0 directly from default Moodle installation. For example, if I log in as a teacher or administrator, I select English again, then I go to in my Moodle 4.0 to settings. And from here, I will just double check what are the available course formats. I can see that default one is used because um, my previous one wasn't available for 4.0 yet. And there are not fresh or new ones by default in Moodle 4.0. What I'm doing now is um, trying to install some fresh new course format that is supported in here. And let's see how much I should change my course to be able to make it more convenient to the end user. So nothing wrong currently. It can be used. Everything should work. But especially if you are looking for some different way how you can present your course, then you might want to change that as well. We have successfully upgraded our Moodle 3.11 to Moodle 4.0. It was quite a simple process as long as your server supports new Moodle version. And now we are ready to fine tune our Moodle site with new fresh opportunities or possibilities what Moodle 4.0 offers. And also maybe we want to change some plugins or add new plugins like course formats, what I'm looking for right now. So I go to Moodle plugins directory again, and uh, from here I can search different plugins which are available perfectly for Moodle 4.0. I can uh, do a quick filtering Moodle 4.0, and my eyes catched one course format which was available for 4.0, and I really want to test it. It was Advisor course format. But there are similar ones, for example, soft course format, and previously I was using tiles format, yes, which is in beta, and probably it will get updated soon, and this one can be installed as well. But at the moment, I will do a quick check, advisor course format, I will download it, yes, and extract, and also upload it to my server and install it. So let's do that as well before we finish this video. In general, in my server, I have to go to course format and I have to upload some additional course formats that I want to start using. As I have downloaded my files already, I will show you once again. I have here this new course format, which is downloaded, yes, and uh, now I will extract it. And I have done it uh, to a separate folder in here, I can see that uh, my new format is available from this subfolder. I will just uh, grab and copy it to my Moodle site. Again, this should be quite a quick upload because file folder size is quite minimal. And once I have done this, I have to upgrade my Moodle site as well. If I go to my Moodle site and if I close the course view, home tab, and I already see that uh, there are some updates available and I just click continue. What updates are available? I can see that my new course format, which I just uploaded, I want to include this as well. So I just upgrade the Moodle database now. Obviously, you should go to maintenance mode again if you do those steps because uh, sometimes it is important that uh, the end user, the learner, is uh, appreciated and any changes to the server should be notified, well planned ahead, so that you are not doing that uh, 
during some major exam period or whatsoever. So I continue. Um, my upgrade was success again. I can see some default settings because this is first time for me as well. I probably will double check those settings uh, later on. So just save changes. And my main interest is if I go to my home tab and maybe I will quickly open up some current course. And if I go to settings, which is now available directly from the top menu bar, very easy in 4.0. If I scroll down and course format, I should see that yes, I have advisor course formats. If I initiate this format, then I might have some additional settings which are connected directly to this format. But in here I can see card layout or list layout. So I probably go for testing card layout and let's just uh, save, save and return. And now I can see that my topics are now similar as before, but I do miss some background image, of course, because structures are different and those should be uploaded again. With that, I have successfully upgraded my Moodle 3.11 to the most recent, currently available, Moodle 4.0. And of course, what I'm doing next is uh, just fine-tune my course layouts to find more appropriate course formats, which were also used beforehand, or just changing all of my courses. So, see you later, and uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you want to get some more Moodle-related videos. You can also comment down below in this YouTube video, and of course, click on this bell icon if you want to get notified about my new videos. Bye-bye.